Hi guys, welcome to G3 Fashion and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button to never miss a video from us. Hi guys, welcome back to G3 Plus Fashion and today's video is on the latest styles and style tips for silver suits you can go for the Eid fashion for women and every year we do this video where we give you style tips and the different type of silver suits you can opt for in colors, styles, embroidery and patterns. So this video is in the same series of every year Eid fashion for women. If you like the video don't forget to hit the like button after watching it and if you're still new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button to never miss a video from us. Now let's move on to the video. Okay, so the first dress I'm going to be talking about are the ones which are so much in trends are the Sharada suits which are back in trend and these are always in for Eid fashion or in Pakistani dresses. These are the first choices that you would opt for. Now what I have over here is in a different color which is a powder blue. Now instead of going to the traditional colors like maroon, green, blacks, I'm opting to show you different colors. Now this one you can see over here is the Sharada which is right over here and it's in a cotton rayon fabric. You can see it's widely flared and there's also some gota. Instead of the half of the knee which has to be flared, it is flared from your thigh level which also is like a garara but I would call it a sharara or a white uh, plazo and you can see that this is the dupatta which is paired which is in a chiffon colour the whole theme is in the same colour and the dupatta has a little bit of zari work all over it if you can see that and the border also matches the work of the kameez now if I'm going to talk about the kameez you can see that it's a georgette fabric and it's in a thread work which gives an effect of a shadow work in the self color which is close to like navi work but it's actually shadow work or I'll call it white work it's in the same color as the base and the whole kameez is very simple and plain in a straight cut it's a short or a knee length or above knee length kameez and you can see that the neckline is highlighted it also has a keyhole neckline which is on the off center instead of the center and also the tassels are added to it because these are also in trend and you can see the whole beadwork is done in a golden color which matches the gota and also the dupatta and the same is also available on the hems of the sleeve so this type of dresses in shagaras are in for your Eid fashion Okay, next I'm going to show you another one which resembles the Sharara but it's actually called a Garara because the bottom style of a Garara looks like this. It is flared from your knees which has gathers or pleats like this one and now these are also the Pakistani dresses which are so much in trend and you can definitely wear something like this for Eid. Again, I'm going to show you a different color combination which is a navy and a yellow. Now this is the dupatta that's paired with this, it's a light tint of the yellow. And this is the kameez that I'm going to be talking about. If you do notice that it's a short kameez, it's a straight length look and it's a short kameez, it's a silk fabric. And you can see that it's got this embroidered effect in Kalkati work or a sober elegant work. And the work is also not too bright. They are very subtle colors which you can see and embroidery is also in thread work, beads, zardozi and also a bit of kasab added to it to bring the nice uniqueness out of this outfit. And you can see that the outfit also is highlighted at the bottom hemline because this is a short kurti. And it also has elbow sleeves and the same unique work is also done on the sleeves. There is a whole border of it and also small booties which you can see all over the kameez as well. And it's also at the back side they have added the same border on the neckline. And you can see that the neckline is also a bit different. Instead of a normal round neck they have also added this flat, flat look which looks like pleats. This is like a ruffle look or a collar look and this really gives a nice effect to this outfit. So this was the second style which is the Garara suit but which is in a shorter kameez and new colors which you can opt for like this yellow and navy blue. Now I'm going to show you a different outfit which is in the straight cut kameez style and a skirt instead of a churidar, a plazo or a sharada. So this one you can see is the kameez section, it's like a shirwani kurta, you can see that and it's also got this cuts in the center and also in the sides 
and you can see that it's a nice pistachio color and it's also got the embroidery in gold which isn't too bright but it's a dull gold all over it in diagonal and you can see it's also got a different growing motif at the hemline now this is paired with a skirt in the same color this is the skirt that's paired with it if you can see that the skirt is also in a different ruffle look look because uh, of the gathers and a layer effect which you can see in two pieces this really brings out a nice Indo Western or Indo Fusion look to this outfit and it's paired with the dupatta which is in ruffles. You can see that the border is given in ruffles which would match the layering part of the skirt. You can carry the dupatta with it or you can even go without a dupatta and the nice thing is that you can also wear this kameez with your pants or kudos for a different look or a casual look and this one will give you a nice evening wear look if you pair it with a skirt. Now for a casual look, I've got a different one which is in cotton silk and cotton prints. Now you can see that the kameez is very sober and plain. It's a red colour which is always in for festivals. And you can see it's got a little bit of embroidery in buddhas which is minimal. And this matches the colours of your gharara. There's a gharara inside over here which you can see is in a grey colour base. And it's got the Indian prints of ajra which are also perfect for a casual look. So if you don't want to go for something which was more highlighting in patterns like silk or something which is embellished like we showed you, you can go for a gharara suit which is like this for a day event which is perfect for your Eid dressing. We've got different colors in this as well. And again, you can opt for the kameez to go with your leggings or plazo or you can even pair this cotton gharara with a different kurti for a different or multiple looks. Now Eid is the time which is perfect for all ladies of all ages so I've got something which is perfect for a younger version of your age groups which is an Indo Western like this. Now this one is actually a three piece which you can go for it's a dhoti suit and yes you can get it customized in sleeves as well. Now you can see that the dhoti and the crop top or the jacket all are in the same solid combination and this is perfect and it's a pastel color you can also go for pastels for this Eid fashion this season and you can see that the dhoti is in a georgette fabric so it's going to be very comfortable and it's also got pleats in the center which is a flap overlay of the dhoti and it is matched with a raw silk plain crop top which you can opt for a full sleeve as well or you can also get the jacket which is in full sleeve like this now the jacket and the dhoti are in the same fabric this is actually a two layer georgette that you're looking at and it's in a kali style and it's also an open jacket which you can see has a little bit of patti to give it that center opening and it's also available on the collar neck and the jacket also has only one button which you can see is at the collar so the whole jacket remains open beneath the button so this gives a nice peekaboo look to your outfit which is a dhoti and also a crop top now I'm going to talk about the jacket you can see that it's got these cute booties which are in sequence work it's copper and gold and there's a little bit of kasa and you can see the whole jal motif on the lower hemline and they've also added a border to complete the look this is also available on the back side this is the back side so this is like an A-line jacket, it's not so flared but it's got two to three curries to give it that flared look. You can opt for different colours in pastels for the season as well. Now for a different version of your silvar suit is the one piece kurti dresses or a gown style dress. Now these ones don't come with any bottom, you can see that it has an inner kurti or a silvar suit which is in a cotton fabric which has a little bit of ruffles added at the end which are the pleats so this gives you a nice um, flowy effect now this one has a different overlayer style kurti which is in a straight cut which is in the same color and this is actually a chanderi fabric so it's very breathable and it's also got this gota work again in a very dull gold color so this is not on the eyes and you can also see that it's a summer color so yes you can also go for colors which are like this this is a nice sea green or an aqua and yes I'm also wearing something like this which is a dress kurti in two layers you can see that it's also got the same inner kurti look and a straight cut kurta on top so these are definitely in trend you can go for something like I'm wearing or something like this now this one also comes with a dupatta 
If you want to carry a dupatta, you can. It's in the same color. You can see it's a net fabric. And they've given this gota lace to match the work. And they've also added the gota on the bottom part of the hemline of the inner kurti. So this also gives it a nice effect. It's the same as the dupatta. And overall, the kurta is also plain. Again, you can match it with your chudidars or your plazos if you don't want to wear it with this kurti inside. And you need to put on a nice uh, matching dupatta or a contrast dupatta to restyle this whole outfit look. And this is what it looks like from the back side. So this one is a very versatile piece. This can be worn for any age group because it's a kurti kind of a dress. So it's perfect for each styling as well. And now for the last style, I'm going to show you something which is an evergreen style, which is an anarchy dress. Yes, these never go out of style and you can also wear them for each fashion this year as well. The colors, however, and the patterns may have been deferred. Again, I've picked up something which is in a pastel color. And yes, it's a green pista shade green, which is again the trending color of the season. And you can see I've mixed two uh, embroideries, which are mirror work you can see right over here, which is at the yoke. And you can see Lucknavi work is also available on this dress, which is the latest trend of this season too. And this dress has Lucknavi work on the lower panel from the yoke which is in vertical and it's also beautified with a little bit of badla or I would say a little bit of studs in gold and you can again wear it in this short sleeves which is in net actually the yoke is in a double layered net if you can see it's got a two neckline effect again this is something which is so much in trend and this is what it looks like from the back side and it comes with a dupatta which matches the yoke as well, which is in the same color and the same tulle fabric or net fabric, and they've added a border to match the yoke. So this is your Alanti types that you can choose for each fashion. Apart from this, you can also go for the regular ones, which are in plain silks, which has a nice, beautified dupatta, or you can go for like Navi work Alankis or even straight cut or plazo suits which are so much in trend apart from this colors you can also go for dark colors like i mentioned black blue red and dark green thank you guys and this was the last dress for now so that was all about the latest styles of silver suits you can go for eat fashion and if you're interested to shop the collection you can visit our website g3fashion.com or you can also shop on g3 plus video shopping service Thank you so much for watching guys and still if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the like button if you like the video. Bye bye.